Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ladiria Johnson aka D The Muse and in this video I created this beautiful look for you guys. So if you like what you're seeing just make sure you um, like, comment, and subscribe so you can follow me along on my makeup journey to become a better makeup artist. Okay so first we're going to start off by moisturizing and priming the skin. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. hydrating face primer. Okay, and then we're going to go in with a dark brown eyebrow pencil. And sometimes, depending on the look, I like to just shape the outer parts of my eyebrows uh, just to make them pop a little bit more. Okay, and once you finish that, you want to go in with a spoolie just to blend out everything so when you go ahead and I uh, use the pomade everything just you know looks flawless okay and now I'm gonna go in with my Ardell brown pomade in dark brown and when you do this you want to use your brush to create some hairs in which the hairs naturally grow Okay, and now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Pure Beige to clean up my eyebrows. Now I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender uh, just to blend in all that concealer around my brows. I know some people like to actually use like a blending brush, but to me it's just whatever's close to me at that time. It's what I use. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with my NYX uh, White Jumbo Pencil just to set the base for my eyeshadow to make the colors pop a little bit more. Then I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics 120 color palette. I'm going to use a purple, a hot pink, and a light pink. Okay, first we're going to start off by packing on that dark purple color. And then we're going to blend that in. It does not have to be perfect, just because we're going to be packing on other colors as well and then blending that. Then we're going to be taking that hot pink shade and packing that on at the top and then blending that out as well. Okay, and since we lost some of our color uh, due to the blending, I'm going back in with that dark purple and just packing some more of that on there and then blending that out. Okay, and now we're going to go in with a blending brush. We're going to use that uh, light pink shade to blend out the hot pink all around the edges and corners. Okay, so I know you can't see as much, but I'm going in and cutting the crease. I promise you um, the view will get better so you can see it a little bit more. But uh, another way for you to actually tell uh, where your crease is and where you can cut it is 
by you closing your eyes a little bit, that little fold, you can just start by uh, putting the concealer in that way. Okay, so now we're going in and we're going to create our cut crease wing liner type of look. And this eye I felt like I got perfect, but the other eye messed up on um, just because it was more wider. And this is when I realized I messed up. <laughs> so a way you can actually go in and fix it is you can actually use your background color, which is the purple. And you can go in and um, put that in there. And then go back in with the concealer to make the shape. Okay, so I know I didn't actually show you the shade that I used on my lids, but I just used like a regular nude shade. Okay, so now we're going to go in with that dark purple shade that we used earlier just to go in and clean up around the wing shape that we made. And then we're gonna blend it out. And then we're gonna go back in with that light pink shade and use that blending brush again just to blend out all the edges and everything. Then we're gonna go back in with that nude shade again. Just in case we got any fallout on our eyelid, we're going to go back in just to make it pop a little bit more. Okay, and now we're going to go in with my least favorite part. We're going to take the NYX uh, Professional Liner and line our eyes. I say it's my least favorite just because, like, I feel like I always do, like, a basic type of liner. I can't never really do, like, a really pointy type of liner, I guess you could say. Okay, so I'm not going to actually tell you guys what brand my lashes are, just because I'm coming out with a lash line pretty soon, so stay on the lookout for that. Okay, so for a while, I actually wouldn't even do lashes, um, but just recently, maybe a few months ago, I actually started practicing just because I felt like they were too much, like just to do when it was hard and everything, but it's actually pretty easy once you actually... Um, center the lashes in the middle and then you hold down for like a few seconds and then you attach the front and the back end okay so now i'm going in with my covergirl outlast all day foundation in 857 then you go in with a damp beauty blender just to blend it in and make it all seamless. Now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution concealers in C7 and C12. And I'm putting it in places that I actually want to be highlighted. And then I just blend that out. Now I'm going in with my airspun loose face powder and translucent 
extra coverage just to set all of that and now my favorite part I'm going in with a dark concealer just to shape my face up a little bit more and make it smaller I'm gonna go in with my Morphe contour bronzer in Celebrity just to shape my face up a little more and set that concealer. Now I'm gonna use all those shades that I used on my eye, under my eye, just to make the look pop a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna take my glitter palette and I'm gonna use the shade on the second row, third column. Okay, now I'm gonna take my contour brush just to contour my nose up a little bit more. as well as take my glow kit palette that I got from AliExpress and just pop that on as a highlighter. Okay, now I'm gonna set my face with the CoverGirl Lock It Up spray as well as go back in with some highlighter. Lastly, I'm going to go in and line my lips. Uh, you really don't need a specific color. I just use like a nude. And then as for my lip products, you have to check the description box as well as anything else that I may have missed out on in this video. Everything's in the description box. If you have any questions, um, just comment them down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. 